we discuss an important theorem this theorem name is sandwich theorem sandwich theorem and in the prospect of the real analysis it's very important for the sequential part now first we state what the theorem is let let us consider three sequences tn t dash n and t double dash n for all n we have that means tn is less than equals to t dash n less than equals to t double dash n moreover assuming tn tends to limit l as n tends to infinity and t double dash n tends to l as n tends to infinity then by sandwich theorem we have limit n tends to infinity tn dash equals to l so from the theorem it is clear here we consider the three sequences tn t dash n and t double dash n and for all n we have tn is less than equals to t dash n less than equals to t double dash n and our assumption is if tn taking to the uh, approaches to the limit l as n tends to infinity and if t dash double dash n is approaches to limit l as n tends to infinity then by the sandwich theorem we say limit n tends to infinity t dash n is equal to l so it is to be proved now we have to the part of proof for proof for any given pre assign positive epsilon we have seen that means we are taking for a given p assign positive epsilon since x n tends that means since here t n tends to l and t double dash n tends to l 
as n tends to infinity. So there exists a suitable positive integer n0 such that for all greater than equals to n0 from the considerations of the limit x n tends to l that means that means t n tends to l since sorry t n tends to l that means for uh, t n lies in the n b d of the limiting region that means l minus epsilon less than equals to t n less than l plus epsilon and l minus epsilon less than equals to t double dash n less than l plus epsilon and it is given tn less than t dash n less than less than t double dash n for all n and hence for all n greater than equals to n zero we have l minus epsilon less than t n less than t dash n less than t double dash n less than l plus e epsilon that is l minus epsilon less than t dash n less than l plus epsilon and we maintain the same condition that means for all n greater than equals to n0 we have get this that is here mod of t dash n minus l is less than epsilon which can say that limit n tends to infinity t dash n equals to l so we can prove the sandwich theorems